When calculating incidence, we need to know how many people developed the condition during a specified period of time. Now, in order to properly calculate incidence, we need to exclude those individuals who already have the condition and those who for whatever reason cannot develop it. The group of people that we are left with is the susceptible population. The people within this group that develop the condition are referred to as new cases. While everyone else is still susceptible and thus do not have the condition. In this example, across a 3 year time period, 12 people developed the condition and 28 people didn't. To calculate the incidence, we need to divide the number of new cases by the total number of people that were susceptible to developing the condition at the beginning of the time period and then dividing that value by the duration of the study. By entering the appropriate values into the equation, we find that the instance of the condition in this group was 1 out of every 10 people per year. Once more, incidence is the number of new cases over the susceptible population divided by the time period. 